watch this video to find out how to add text fonts like these and others into your Tinkercad designs. Hello and welcome. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. I'm Mr. Kier from School Tech HQ and today we're going to have a little look at how to add custom text fonts into Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a great way to create 3D designs of whatever you want and the option to add text to personalize your designs is a great feature. The only problem is that Tinkercad comes with a small range of text fonts available. So let me show you how to add your own text fonts to Tinkercad. In Tinkercad, there are a few options when adding text to your design. In the shape bank section, if you go to the magnifying glass and you search for text, you'll find that there are a few options. You have individual letters, but at the top, we're gonna to look at the first couple. You can see that the main ones that we have are we've got a curved one, which as you can imagine, means that the text is gonna be curved. We then have a plain one. We've got a Hebrew one, and we have a text with new line support. With that also, we do have a custom font text and the custom font text ring, but we'll go over them later on. So the moment, this is what the text look like. So you can see they're quite generic. Each of these have a limited amount of font styles. So if we go to the plain one, that's this one here, you see it gives you the option to change the heights, the bevel um, and the segments, but the font itself with multi-language, sans, sans mono and serif. So there's actually not a lot of options. If we go to the ring one, you can see there's only a few. And the Hebrew one, there is only a few options as well. Now this one that supports two line, it is the same as even less there. So yeah, there's not a lot of options for what you can do. Now this is where the problem lies. You might have a particular font that you want to use for your model. So if I've, I've got this desk organizer here and I want to add a font here, but none of these are gonna do it. I want to add a different one. So how do I do that? The first step is to use this text box. So if we go to this one here, it is the custom font text. We add that in here. It's quite big. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller just for this. There we go. And let's focus on that. Now you will notice with this text box, we've got a few options here. We've got adding and changing the words. We've got the size of the type of box, the height of it, but also this bit at the bottom, which says picture. It says drag a file here. So we'll come back to that important part in step three. Step two requires a bit of research on our end. If you already know the font you're looking for, then this next step won't take too long. If you aren't sure though, there are lots of free websites out there that you can browse through for different font styles. For the purpose of this video though, we're gonna look at Google Fonts. So Google Fonts has lots of different fonts available for you to use with your model. So in Google Fonts, if you know what one you're looking for, you can search the font here. Or if you're not sure, on the left, we have our filters. Now we can put our comment here that we want to use. Um, welcome to School Tech HQ. And it will show up a preview of what each font looks like. And if I want to narrow it down, I can go to, I want variable or color. I would like it to be handwritten. And then I can say number of styles of one as well. The maximum you can have there is 18. Or just sit with one. So if we look here, we can see there's quite a few different types of fonts available. If I didn't know the name, I could then pick one that I quite like. So I'm gonna pick this one here. This is Patrick Hand. Now when we click on it, it gives you the option to see this font in different ways. So how it's written regularly at 48 pixels at 21. So different sizes for the same font. And I'm happy with that. So the next thing we need to do once we've picked our font is we need to then download the family. So click on that and it will download that family for you. Now this folder will download zipped. You need to first unzip that folder and to extract these two files. Now you have the OFL, which is the text document and the actual font itself, which is classed as a true type font file or TTF for short. The problem is though, we can't add that to our model. Unfortunately, it's looking for a picture. Now, TTF file is not a picture file, so we need to then find a converter. So if you can go online, you can look up different converters. I found this one that works quite well, everythingfonts.com, and then put uh, TTF to SVG, but you could also type in 
TTF to SVG converters. Um, Convertio is a very popular one as well. So use any converter you want, as long as you're converting it from TTF to SVG. So once you've converted it, you should then have an SVG file of your font. And this is where we go on to step three, which is adding the custom font. Once you then have your SVG file, all you do is you click your file, drag it over, it will go into the box, and eventually what will happen is, over a few seconds, your text will change. So now if we test that, you see this already changed, it's no longer capitalized. There you go, I now have my font the size I want it. And I can now keep that there. So I'm going to add it to my design, I can then just add it here. And there you have it, my desk organizer now has its own personalized and the style that I want font. Now if you're not happy with this font, you can either delete it or instead of deleting it, you could put in a different picture here, a different SVG file, please make sure it's an SVG file and that way then you can add it in and change it to what you want. So there you have it. Now you can add your favorite text fonts to your Tinkercad designs. This will make them a bit more personalized and special. But here's a top tip. What I like to do is create a separate file. It's just got all the text fonts I've imported. Then what happens is when I want to use a new font, instead of going through that whole process again, I can then open this file, select what I want to use, copy it, and then paste it into the design that I'm wanting to add the font to. This way it saves having to redo the process every time, but also it means you have a good catalog of all the fonts whenever you want them. Hope this video has been useful for you and thank you for watching. Tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite font? Again, thanks for watching and enjoy learning from School Tech HQ. Bye.